morning, Howard. Good morning. I'm, I'm asking a question regarding uh, leadership challenges for the next generation of online learners and leaders in, uh, in our institutions, and if you have any reflections from a variety of perspectives. Well, I, I'm assuming that we're talking about a little bit more advanced than how do you incorporate the, the various media in, yes. into learning. Yep. So given that that's a, a, a significant challenge, one of the things that, that I've learned is that the, the more of the power of the teacher that I, I give to the students and the more of the responsibility for learning uh -huh. I place on the students, the more peer learning yeah. is involved, the more engaged they become. This is not less work for the teacher, it's actually more work yeah. for the teacher. The next challenge is how do we move assessment into that kind of peer-to-peer social framework so that it becomes a, not just a, a method of assigning a grade, but an integral part of the learning. Can peer assessment work? Uh, to what degree do people who do collaborative work in groups assess each other? How can they do that? It's one, one of the classic problems with collaborative group work, of course, is you can assess the group, but then how do you assess the individuals? I think one of the problems that groups always have is how do the individuals motivate each other? How do you deal with the, the slackers? So yeah. how, how can we move assessment into the, into the learning arena? So as a, as a leader of an online program, how do I encourage my faculty to think about this? Because you're really talking about a transformation of the learning system. What can I do as an online leader to help facilitate that process? Well, I found that, that trying to push the boulder uphill and convince the skeptics is much harder than mm. identifying the enthusiasts and, uh. and capture their best practices and show it to others. So I think learning by example from the people yeah. who are the most enthusiastic is, is by far the be best way yeah. to, to spread those practices. Yeah. I, I think one of the things I took away from your talk this morning and, and your point about it being more work or requiring work to organize all of that, but the, it seems like the output you get from the students, the learning that's occurring, is, is pretty f phenomenal. Well, if you like engaging with your, your students, it is more work, but it's, it's happy work, yeah. because it, yeah. it enables you to have a level of interaction that you simply can't have grading tests, grading papers, cold calling on students in class. Right, right. This enables you to really have a a conversation yeah. about the issue, to inquire into yeah. the issue, to do it in the sense of a group learning together, but also to individually respond to, to students. It's Th does this, um, has this changed your relationship to your students, personally, as a faculty to, to students? Well, yes, very much. And, and you know, it's when I first started out, I was very guarded about letting the students know what a beginner I was. <laughs> you know, the, so sure. the, the teacher doesn't want to show the, their fear sure, to sure. the students, but I, I found that the, the more I model being a, an ideal learner, mm -hmm. um, being open, the more it's, I'm open to showing that I can fall off the edge. I, you know, sure. I, I, I now say when something doesn't work, when I, I push the technology and it breaks, if you're not falling off, that means that you're not on the edge. Yeah. So Interesting. I try to model failure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is which is we're so learning. Psychologically hard to do at the beginning. Right. But right. once I see that it, that it not only humanizes but but it gives the students um, it, an incentive yeah. to try things that maybe they had been afraid to try sure. before, it, it it really works for me. But you're willing to model that through your teaching behaviors. Yes, I had to, yes, and the first thing I had to do was to be willing to uh, admit to error. Yeah, uh, terrific. Well, thank you so much sure. for your time and your insights.